Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Molly. And we're, and we're Jeff, Jeff and, and Molly, Molly Outdoors. y'all miss molly and i decided at the last minute in fact last night uh about bedtime to make a trip to the sipsy wilderness we needed it we just we got to get out we got to get in the woods with you know and so today is june 17th uh thursday june 17th and the temperature's about 90 degrees fahrenheit uh 90 91 something like that I think they're calling for high 92 today so but in this spot as you can see it is shady we have a great canopy above our heads and uh even though it's 12 30 12 40 probably right now something like that 12 52 miss molly held up her watch because i'm not sporting one today 
and it, it feels good here, and we're excited to, to be here. This is one of Miss Molly's favorite spots. Uh, for some reason, she likes it. I'm not sure why. No, just kidding. Uh, I know why. It's There's not as many bugs here, and it's a little harder to get water and things like that, but it's a nice spot, and we're just thankful to be able to get out to come here and enjoy this wonderful spot, this wonderful, when I say spot, I mean the Sipsy Wilderness. And uh, looking forward to see what's going to happen in the next couple of days. try to make some wooden nails and uh, put them into that dead standing snag there just to hang gear on no big deal we'll shape them and put them in under the ash so that they get hardened <laughs> Thank you. 
this pound and we're going to have Sasquatch coming up here to check us out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Three spikes. Very tight. Any kind of hardwood. Whoa. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That's an ugly face to scare you. <laughs> Thick piece of hardwood. Making a wedge to split this gnarly piece of wood and knife won't fit through it and it's pretty wicked so and it's not flat on the top either when you don't have something in the woods you need make it make it Yesterday he made nails and hammered them into the tree, made nails out of wood. A dead tree. And hammered it's into a dead tree. Dead standing tree, the whole top of it's Yeah, gone. the whole top's gone. I mean, it's a dead tree. Yeah, you don't want to do that to a live tree. But he did the nails yesterday and went ahead and hammered them into the dead tree and now it's hooks there that we can use i got my trekking poles hung on them this morning yeah you do don't you yeah, I do. 
And then he made the wedge today. We made a table yesterday that we could use. I mean, it's not nothing fancy, but it does the job for what we need. This is a bushcraft knife that I made about a year ago. I put elk scales on it and uh, I just I'm trying to think what I did use. I used a file, I think, and uh, yeah, so I can see ridges in it. Put a 90 degree spine on it. And it's what I've been batoning with and, and tempered it down into the almost the blues, which is, you know, a little soft, but for uh, doing stuff like this, beating a knife, that's what you where you want a machete at and stuff. It works real good. Yeah, so it holds an edge pretty decent. And it was a good file, by the way. It wasn't a, you got to use good, good file. But, uh. Or WT. I like WT. It don't matter. It works. And I beat the fire out of it because I wanted to see how it would do. All right, Miss Molly. I'm walking on to a camp that we took. Oh, we walked on here. It's about a mile, two miles maybe down past where we camp now. Uh, we camped back in here probably two times prior. And Jeff found a big old piece of fat wood. And he, with him being injured, I told him that Cheyenne and I would walk down here and see if it's still there because we forgot it. We wanted to put it at the camp we usually use. But, so, let's finish taking this hike back here and see if it's still there. We call this campsite back here uh, Boar Camp. There's a lot of wild boar that we found all kinds of uh, scat from them and where they were rooting. So we call this one Boar Camp. And we just started naming them. I forget what we named some of the others. I think we have one that we went to with Hunter a while back. And he calls it Squ Sasquatch Camp. Because uh, we had, if you look back in our videos, had some strange things happen while we were there. Uh, like a rock flying out of the woods and stick flying and... So, but he calls that in Sasquatch Camp. So, let's go on down here and find Boar Camp and see if we can find that fatwood. All right, we're coming right up onto that camp now. So, we call it Boar Camp. There's a lot of scat and rootings from them. But this was the camp that we did like I said, two times prior. And there's the fatwood. It's still here. I was afraid that someone would probably burn it. But you can see that is a huge piece of fatwood. And fatwood is a good thing to start fires with. Um, it smells like kerosene. It comes from pine, from pine sap, settling into the dead wood. So let's take this back to camp and Make him a happy man. This is what I've been working on since Miss Molly's been gone. She, I had a piece of, big old piece of fat wood off in the woods there. Uh, this poplar makes a good fire, fire set, bow drill set. 
and so I've made a hearth board out of part of it got my divot put in there and I'm making a spindle right now I just used a quarter piece of one of these splits uh, working on it and it's pretty damp so but we're gonna try it later on this afternoon and maybe it'll have time to dry out and maybe you know the humidity is supposed to be high but we can do maybe some drying cycles and get a fire going that way we'll just have to see how many spider webs did you run into a zillion he's probably blessing me out the whole way down there wasn't he i'm gonna <laughs> kill him if that thing's not there no and then if it is there and i gotta carry it back i'm gonna kill him anyway wanted to make you a happy man you make me a happy man what are you talking about <laughs> That was rough getting started, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You're making a bearing block now for your bow drill, drill. Bow drill. Yeah. Maybe if I ever get this cut. And that's being done with some of that fat wood that I brought back from the other camp because he said it will self lubricate itself for the spindle. This isn't the real good stuff. The good stuff's down here, and it's not. This is just a. There's some here. Should be good enough. You can definitely smell. It smells like turpentine.
And now it's got to come on back into your... I'm going to try to get underneath the notch so it gets air. Into the burn hole. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm making a toggle to uh, for a cinch system to tie things down. I want to carry this big chunk of fat wood out. It weighs probably what, my like twenty pounds. It's heavy. It's heavy, <laughs> and uh, I want to take it home, cut it up, be able to use it. So I want to make. I don't have a way to really cinch it down. So I'll make a toggle. I put on paracord. You've probably seen it. Uh, on YouTube, I think um, can't think of the guy's name, Felix, maybe something. I don't know. You, you can put his name up on there, right, Miss Molly? And uh, uh, I seen it there first, and then Blackie um, Thomas Thompson. Yeah, he. That was the second time I've seen it done, and I, I guess according to Blackie, there's been some other folks that have done it. So, uh, at any rate. I'm going to see if I can remember how it was done because, you know, <laughs> I've seen it done. I've never done it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, y'all. This is our last and final night with Don't the say Sipsy. Final. Okay, not Can't final. Say final. Okay. Can't say final. No. This final. is our last night for at the trip. Sipsy for this trip. <laughs> <laughs> of our escape before we go crazy. How's that? I don't work. <laughs> I'm I just need to get away. We've got to do a lot of different bush crafty stuff. The table and uh, the bow drill. 
Uh, we didn't get a bow drill fire. We did get an ember. <laughs> we, and I blew it. I, uh, I said, I don't think we got, I don't think I got the ember. And then I looked and I said, oh yeah, I got an ember. And about that time, Molly blew on it and then it just went. <laughs> I was like, whoa. And I didn't have the strength to do it again. So. My bad. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. But we've had a good time. We've, it's been quiet. I mean, you can hear the frogs and the owls. And we've heard during the day a lot of birds. And it's just, it's been a good trip, a good yes. needed trip. Yes. So. Yeah, you got to let those cools coalesce while I'm thinking about it. Miss <laughs> Molly didn't know. That was my fault. I should have told her. I've always seen him blow on them real lightly, and well, I didn't you gotta know wait, that. You got to wait at first. Wait, let it coalesce, fan it, you know, <laughs> and then transfer it to your bird's nest. That's okay. I'm learning. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> we saw a lot of firewood today, and uh, just had a good time, man. I mean, it's just been a blessing. Praise God. I'm telling you, I've enjoyed it. I just got to get in the woods. You know, I hadn't been fishing. It's been how long since I've been fishing? Oh, it's a month and a half, probably. Since we've been fishing, yes. Yeah, since we've been fishing, and we had we didn't hike any, probably for the last month. Well, one time I think we went. Yeah, we about took three Letty. weeks ago. Or so, yeah. and it was several weeks between there. Right. And I mean, we just and I just I've got to get in the woods, man. I just have to. Or he gets really. <laughs> and, and we can't live with him. <laughs> he didn't hear me say that. This just makes you feel human again. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be turning in here in just a little bit and let this fire die down some. And, and we'll talk with you all in the morning. Good night. Good night, y'all. Good morning, world. We had a rough night last night. My underquilt somehow slipped totally off, so I had to fix that. And Jeff had problems with his hammock, but we finally got to sleep probably about 2.30 this morning. It's 7.30 now. And we're going to get up and get things, get some breakfast, get some oatmeal, and get ourselves packed up and start the trail out of here. Good morning, my love. Uh-huh. Did you get some rest? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you hear my alarm go off? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you. Uh-huh. <laughs> you ready for oatmeal? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're working on getting up. We're getting up in stages, little by little. I got the zipper unzipped. Oh, yeah, the zipper unzipped. You got your zipper unzipped? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, we got the zippers of the hammocks unzipped, and we're ready to climb out or roll out or fall out, whatever comes. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You guys missed it last night. We had, I was sitting on the 
hammock, the sweet, the sit hammock, the net one. And Jeff was giving me a back rub. This is nice. All of a sudden, crack, bang, boom, right down on my butt. One of the strap loops busted. So I'm hurting a little bit this morning and got a headache, but <sighs> I'm no worse for the wear, I reckon. So we finally, when we finally get moved out of the bed, we'll get some oatmeal and get on our way. Didn't even get a spark, man. I'm not even woke up. Ugh. Water is on. No, it's not. But it's close. Well, my water is on. As long as it's not broke. <laughs> Everything in my body's broke today. <laughs> It was a rough night. Yeah, it was a rough night. That's the worst those. night I've had in a long time since probably a, a knee surgery. You uh -huh. know. And you got to hike out of here this morning. Your ankle going to do it? It has to, unless you're going <laughs> to carry me. I have to strap you on my backpack, honey. <laughs> I don't have no choice to hobble out. It might take me. Good thing is, the good news is, we're only about two and a half miles from the high, from the truck. Mm -hmm. Bad news is it'll probably take me f three or four hours to hike <laughs> two and a half miles. I hope not. I hope I'm able to walk a little better than that. It's terrible when you're hurting. I've got a real bad headache this morning from the fall and I'm hurting. and I still don't understand what happened there. Them threads gave out on that daisy chain. <sighs> Which that's not a that was not a hammock strap. That was a strap that came off our day tarps. Our paracues. Yeah. They came with uh, so. straps on them, and we cut them off because we didn't like them. No. And figured we used utilize them to make that make the day sling. <laughs> And we better watch because I think you have a set on the uh, yeah. butt sling. Yeah. <laughs> I hope no one falls in the toilet. <laughs> no, that would be horrible, man. That would be terrible. So we're going to have to make sure that's reinforced. <laughs> we'll just start m using a Marlon spike hitch on it and it'll be fine. <laughs> the strapping didn't break. It was just the thread they had. Because mm -hmm. it was, you know, like I said, it was not hammock straps. Right. We've been using them for a long time, a couple of years. If something's going to break, it's going to break on Molly. <sighs> right? Normally. <laughs> but we visited that age-old adage again last night. Never hang a hammock. Higher than you want to fall. Higher than you're willing to fall. <laughs> yep. I fell that far. <laughs> I tried to slow you down. I was back and shoulders. And me pushing on that thing. And, Give me a massage, shoulder and, massage. Yeah. And it, I was kind of bouncing a little bit. You know that's what did it. You know that bouncing, that shock, 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 shock. But, well, I'm going to have to have a real good massage when I get home try to put all of my bones back where they belong they're all compressed because I was sitting when I fell so I was sitting I was sitting when I got my massage and so I was sitting when I fell <laughs> yeah there was there just no sat. stopping all broken up oh no I'm sorry <laughs> <sighs> yeah it was not a laughing matter that 
was not. Now we're going to go ahead. We got our waters on. Cheyenne's already had her Ruby Ruse and her pill this morning. And we're going to get our oatmeal and coffee. And he's going to get his tea. Yeah, I'm out of coffee. And then we'll have to get everything packed One up. One tea bag left. Oh, no. Then we'll have to get everything packed up. Oh, great. And and start our trek out of here. I'm gonna brush my teeth. You gotta brush your tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe comb my hair. Hi, why? <laughs> no, no, we might no. scare, scare Sasquatch off. No. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, for all those of you that have sleep apnea and you say, well, I can't go camping, I can't go hiking, I can't go backpacking, I can't do nothing because I am tethered to my CPAP machine. I had that problem at first, it was carrying our big, my big unit because I had got me this Metatrom battery first. And they're expensive, I'm thinking I paid $350 for this. Uh, but it's a power supply for the CPAP, a backup power supply, and charging it, it gives me two nights. So that way we can go out and camp for two nights and three days. To get rid of the big unit, I went ahead and I looked online and I found this, which I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it's called right now. I have to put it on the, I'll put it up on here for you to read because I don't remember what it's called. But uh, it works really well and it has its own little humidifier that hooks right into your hose for your mask. Um, but that way you can get out even with having sleep apnea. Don't let it hold you back, guys. Get out there.
right, everybody. We got everything down. Let's double check. No strings anywhere. We didn't forget anything. Fire's out. Packs are on. And dog is ready. Okay, ready to go home? Go on, lead on. Let's go. Go on, let's go home. Go home. Yes, go home. Go, we're coming. We're on our way out. Rain, it wasn't supposed to rain until this afternoon, but it didn't hold off, so we get to walk in the rain, which is, thank the Lord, it's cool. It's not like we're sweating because of the humidity now. Yeah, it was already soaked before we took off, so we're good. Got our ponchos, but no sense in putting them on when you're already wet. Yeah, it makes it hotter, too, to wear them. So, let's take this trek out. Well, folks, this was a great trip. We have thoroughly enjoyed getting out, and we needed to get out to get away. It's been a while, and uh, just 
the way I am. I, I just got to get in the woods and Miss Molly's just about that way. But uh, we have enjoyed it. We had a blessed time uh, here in the Sipsy Wilderness and heading back home. So I want to just thank you for coming along for the ride, so to speak. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Anything else, Miss Molly? And get out in the outdoors. Oh, yeah. That's right. Get out in the outdoors and enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Have Bye. a good one.